Now, what was it like working with Andre 3000? Let me tell you something, man. I'm a groupie, okay, when it comes to Andre. I don't care. I, I, I like the man. I love the man. The man is just unbelievable, man, because he just, he just, he just one of them eccentric dudes, man. He just be in his own world. He gonna wear some hard boots every day and some jeans. He don't care if he wear them all day. They might be stanky as a motherfucker, but he don't care. You know, he Andre 3000. He's a he eat vegan food. He plays a guitar all day. And he just a, 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 a straight, real dude, man. Every day, I literally try my best to hang with him as much as I could. Uh, Terrence Howard, I learned so much from him. You know, but I know he's speaking about Andre, but but Andre, man, he was just a dude that always, like I went to the studio with him when I was out there. You know, we went out to eat a couple of times with, with other friends and stuff. And he was just a great dude. And I see why people like Andre 3000 because he's just, he's just a different type of dude. He's just cool. You know what I'm saying? You would think that because he Andre that he's gonna like not want to be talked to or not do this, just leave me alone. But he's really, really a real dude, man. And I, I, I see why they got everything that, they, that they've gotten out of being in the group because they just the, the most humblest people I ever met. Outcast speaking of, not just Andre, sure. both of them, you know? I was talking to a friend of mine, I'm not gonna say who it is, but you know, he, he's cool with Andre 3000. And the one thing he said that Andre told him, which, which kind of struck me as interesting, was that Andre said, you know, once you become a celebrity, your life becomes public property. Yep, man, you can't, I can't even take a piss sometime by a car like you want to. You know, you gotta hide, it's just weird, man, because you, you try to live your life to be normal because that's, at the end of the day, that's what you are. Nobody's better than you, and I'm not better than nobody. I don't care how much money I have or how much money I don't have. I'm still not better than you, you know, and some people, as, as, as a fan, they don't understand sometime a person's, I would say, how can I say that, chill mode time, when you just want to just be, like, you, you might want to talk to them and say hi and just cool, but some people, sometimes a, a person can make you feel so awkward and, and feel so uncomfortable. It's like, you know what, let me take my ass back in the house because... I can't even go outside. They want to take a picture with me right now, and I might be hiding from somebody. Then they're going to post it. I might have lied to somebody and said, you know what, I'm out of town, but they post a picture. Wait, what your ass doing out here still? And it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that people want you to be real to, but you, you can't tell everybody everything. So it's like you're caught up into this thing. Either you have to just be real or just go hide. And I'm not a person that's gonna hide from nobody. I'm gonna be a real person. And you know, if they catch me with my dick out, they catch me with my dick out. That, that's your fault. You shouldn't have been looking at me while I'm taking a piss. You understand what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, you won't catch me doing that. I'm just telling you, you ain't gonna catch me pissing nowhere. Just clear that. But I'm just saying, if, if it so happened to be I was drinking a whole bunch of water one day and I got the piss and, you, and, and somebody took a picture of it and they wanna put it out, hopefully my head is to the back and it's nappy as hell and you don't know who the hell I was. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, I'm gonna be me, man. I'm gonna be real. So, you know, for anybody that's getting into this business and you don't like to, the, the fans all on you and, 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 and people all asking you certain type of questions and doing shit, don't get in the business. Don't try to be a celebrity. Don't try to do nothing that will get you involved in doing the stuff that you don't want so i'm involved in this and i can't get out of this because i love it too much i'm gonna entertain till i'm dead and gone and whoever want to take a picture with me say hi to me or, or or whatever the case may be i might be at your backyard barbecue you would never know because that's the type of dude i am you know and it is what it is man don't get into this business if you don't want the shit that come along with it you know i'm ready for whatever that comes with it and you got to be a man and deal with it that's all i'm saying man and there you have it. It seems like Andre, though, really is reclusive, though. Like, you, you don't really see him out. You don't see him at the clubs. You don't really see him at events. Um, and musically, he just pops up every so often. I mean, he kills it every time he pops up, but he just pops up every so often. Icon, man. That's what icons do. They done did so much when they was young trying to get it. When you get older, you don't need to do the same shit you was doing trying to get it. You got to think, you got different friends, you're getting bigger, so you're hanging around bigger people that, that's, that's rich, but they're older. Imagine what a rich person do every day, man. Not too much. They got too much money. They just vacate. 
and chill and come up with ideas mm-hmm. or come up with with alcohol drinks or an app or, or something just to make more millions, man. Mm-hmm. So it's like, it's not to say if, if Andre's not going out because he, he, he to a club. It's like, who don't know Andre 3000 music? If anything, let the new kids get they shine. And Andre 3000 is into acting now. Not to say he's not into his music, but he's into acting now. So he's trying different things. And if you look at any big actor that, that's huge, like a Leonardo DiCaprio or... Or Denzel, yeah, you might see them out every so often, but not as much because you see them more on a set than you see them at a party, you know. And that's how I would I, I, listen. I, I don't mind it. I, I love to 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 not go out as much. I'm 33 years old now, man. I don't. I, I have not done everything in my life, but I've seen a lot to not say. You know what? I don't want to do that right now because I did that before, you know. So I done been on Jess. I done been on. I done been on, man, you name it, I claim it. I done did it. And I still got more to, to do. So if you can live your life like Andre 3000, man, that done traveled all over the world, seen so many things, he done dated so many women, seen so many women. Come on, man, it got to be a time when you slow down and you stop. You understand what I'm saying? He can't be Andre 3000 at the end of the day. He has to be a father as well. Can't show your fa- You can't show your son that I'm out here fucking all these girls or I'm out every night clubbing. You have to be a father. I got to wake up early in the morning, take my son to football practice, to, to whatever he's doing. You, know what you understand what I'm saying? So at some point in your career, you have to know that I am an entertainer and I'm going to entertain when I have to entertain and I'm going a, I'm to a be a father or a regular human being when I have to be a regular human being, man. Plain and simple.